to let people pass in it. So, the question that I'm going to ask and put to you, let's conspire. Let's come together and do some research on Eurofins and many other people and let's link all of this the certificate of vaccination identification so let's go back to what i've been saying since the beginning certificate of vaccination identification this here is about your id it's about your identification it's about your basic i just want to make sure i don't get this gentleman in, in he sat at the table they've got a guest in there i'll stand back um just for the privacy of people i step back because they've got people obviously who are bound to have to have their COVID tests by Monday morning. Um, <gasps> danger of death, danger of death. Um, so let me just go around here. I need a sign. I was about to walk home actually. My car's there, I've just realized. So basically, because of the people just in here, what I want to get on here, yeah. So let's say it again. Certificate of vaccination identification so let's remind that this is about an id and then everything is about your videos all your emotions feelings and then it goes again so as i've said since the beginning covid stands for certificate of vaccination identification it is all about your travel warrant for permits, no different than a dog. So basically, a dog has a, um, where's my keys? I'll put my keys down. A dog basically has, because otherwise it's illegal for me to be in the car on my mobile. So a dog basically has to be um, vaccinated, quarantined and chipped. So now it's time for the humans to be vaccinated or quarantined and chipped however the difference with this one is this is a private sector company that is separate from our own NHS so one thing that I've always had an issue with with the fact is that the person sitting in that test center okay he's certainly probably experienced but right at the beginning they were not qualified they were not trained they were not given the substantial ways of doing it. We know there's been many problems. We know that there has been problems with testers. We know there's probably been problems with the vaccinations. And we also know now as well with children, they've had to halt the vaccinations for babies to under fives. I'm in people's way now so they can get in, but um, because of the amount of children that have dropped dead. Now, officially, if I get into my car with my mobile in hand, the moment I do this, I'm classed as driving with my phone. So I would never, ever, ever want to jeopardize my driving license. And my driving license is the most important thing. Um, I'm actually sat in my car with my keys. It still doesn't really make much difference, but I'm just not going to put it in the engine and I'm going to sit there with my key there right now to show so anyway, I'm extremely tired and I've got to refresh myself. So for me personally, it's been a really fucking exhausting time having to stand ground. I've been fighting. I don't fight with people. I'm not a fighter. And the difference is I'm, I'm genuinely not a fighter. If I was to right hook someone, mate, I'd bust my fingers, bust my hands. I'm not a fighter. And I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I have to defend myself from people that could restrain restrain arrest and detain me at this particular point and as you know since leaving downing street i've had two little boys and those two little boys are innocent in all of this they are innocent in the matters to do with elijah and shy aaron and faith they're innocent in the matters to do with everything going on with me they're two little boys but they've been born to a mother who is who she is does what she does and is here to do what she's meant to here to be doing 
at the moment, I still don't, even, still don't even know what the fuck that is because it's becoming something. People wanted to step up Britain. People going, oh, don't just step up Britain. You've got to step up the world. And it's like, I can't do that because I can't talk about things like even what it's like to live in Ukraine right now. But I can tell you hand on heart that I've got some wonderful, beautiful friends here in um, uh, Portsmouth who are from Ukraine and people who I actually have a telephone number for so we can communicate with each other via the phone. And she speaks Russian. So I can speak to her quite personally and openly about what's going on. We're not at war with each other. Me and her aren't going to start fighting with each other because... Putin wants to do something to Ukraine so between her and our kids we're still going to be on the park while Russia are going to be slaughtering and murdering and killing and wiping out so many Ukrainian people and it's like how can we all sit back and go this is okay this is your money this is your taxpayers money this and people will go but it's Russia it's got nothing to do with us it's got everything to do with us we've got British citizens over in 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 Ukraine We've got British families. You want to hear about your British family that's been murdered, slaughtered and killed because of something that's got nothing to do with them. And if British people are choose and American people are all choosing to go to Ukraine, then I'm assuming that Ukraine is pretty beautiful. And it's like, you know, they show things on the news and they make people think things and they and they build this picture, not even understanding that people can only build semantics and ideas and uh, paradigms based on what the information they actually have so people watching the news will come with a different opinion anyway because they'll have a different education different understanding different rationality different perceptions and things like this so it, you can't educate the mass on one thing hoping that they're going to take this thing from it you know so i don't think that in a country we should be sitting there going you know, let's get our soldiers on the boat. There's, 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 there's families here in Portsmouth and around the UK right now. They're saying to get the British troops out. You know, he's, he's saying, get your British troops out of Ukraine because Russia's going in. And Russia's going to do what they're going to do. But the reason that I say about this with the DNA testing is it's very, 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 very clear that the French pre president would have refused Russia's testing. Why did he refuse Russia's testing? He refused Russia's testing because he didn't want Russia to have his DNA. Why would he be worried about Russia having his DNA? Look, I'm going to tell you damn right that humanoids goes much further than that. They have been doing um, DNA testing on animals and humans for years now. They have been doing illegal scientific testing on the reproduction of our DNA and all of this stuff. And a lot of it is great. And a lot of it is going to pioneer massive amount of stuff for us that's going to bring great, wonderful change. But what I'm saying in all of that is we have to ask now, I have not had one COVID test, not one COVID test in all of this. And no, I'm not vaccinated. And people can go, oh, you fool, oh, you idiot, blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that we haven't picked up stuff and, 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 and been sick during this time. We have, of course we have. But we dealt with it with our own immunity, our own thing. And I've never ever said that COVID isn't real. I just said that this was all set up and designed to do this in the way that they did it. And this was a bio-warfare. We're in a, a bio-war. And now Russia is going to take Ukraine to they already checked mate them they've already gone into their seas they've already permitted the seas they're already saying and this is just a a place that can't defend itself against that and it's like all right don't get involved in other people's bickers and wars well we're sort of paying for it so anyway i've got shit loads of banana boxes car is loaded up with banana boxes i've got shit to do got a car beat tomorrow need money 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 money